Hello everyone, I'm Farmer Sim. Welcome back to Akali Farm. Hope you're all doing very well and having a lovely day. So, we are literally moments after the last episode ended. Uh, it's still October the 1st, it's just before 3 o'clock in the afternoon, as you can see there. But I didn't want to fast forward any time, even into the next day, let alone the next month. Um, because I need to use my time wisely, I feel. If I take you very quickly into the map PDA, as I usually do, we have... As you can see there, one, two, three, it says we've got five fields of grass ready to cut, but 24 and 45 are not quite ready. They're at their first growth stage. 28, 43 and 53 are in fact at second growth stage ready to go. But we have absolutely no hay at all over in the bale sheds. The bales of silage that we had wrapped a few weeks ago, um, a few episodes ago, sorry, we've got, they're all fermented. We've got 21 bales of silage, we've got 21 bales of straw and we've got eight bales of grass. The grass bales are for the sheep to feed those uh, obviously the straw is for the cow's bedding uh, and a bit of the tmr if needed and obviously the bales are for the the, uh, the the silage bales are for the tmr as well but we need hay we haven't got a single bale of hay that's all gone if i go into the animal menu again very quickly are we bum 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 okay so we could they currently have 26,261 liters of tmr in their trough uh, as you can see i've got the mod that uh, tells me roughly what kind of food the cows are use in a day that says 14,666 so if i was to fast forward till october the 2nd that amount of food would shoot right down to very very low as would the straw probably um but i'd have nothing to top them up with so we need hay that's pretty much the long and short of it so Looking at the field map again, I'm going, I have decided we're going to use field 28 here initially as uh, our hay field. We're going to, we need to get it mown, we need to get it tedded, we need to get it rowed up, and we need to get it baled. Now, over the last several episodes since the start of this series, I think I've done more than enough mowing montages for you guys up to now. Uh, I'm sure you've seen your fill of those things already. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the mowing done off camera in that field, get it all mowed up. Uh, and then I'm very keen to pick up our little Ford here, the 7610. We've not uh, really done a huge amount with this yet. So uh, one of the jobs that this thing can do, because it is relatively low on power and quite lightweight and quite small, it's more than capable of running the tether. So that's what we're going to do. So as per usual, I'll hook the mower up to the front of one of these two. We'll run that in the field, get it mown, and I'll pick you all up in a wee while's time when we're ready to uh, turn it over into hay. So, catch you all ASAP. So while we're out here in the field doing this, I'm just trying to do a little bit of basic maths as well at the same time. I'm just trying to get an idea roughly of what kind of yield we're going to get off this. Now the, uh, the map field info box tells me that uh, the best yield we're going to get off this field and all the fields for that matter because they're all silty clay the best yield we're going to, we can expect from here i think is at most 89 percent which equates to 17 and a half tons per hectare uh, the field is 5.08 acres which is 2.056 hectares so that translates to about 35 tons that's what i'm expecting to get off this field what that translates to in litres, which is, I suppose, what we're, we're more commonly used to measuring things in in this game, isn't it? Um, I couldn't tell you. I've got no idea. We'll, we'll find that out when we've uh, when we've obviously done all the bale wrapping and figured out exactly how many bales we'll get off the field. And we can work out the litres based on how many bales we've got, can't we? But, yeah, just thought I'd do a little bit, little bit of simple mathematics while I'm here. But either way, I shall pick you all up. When this job is done. Right, so job done. Mowing completed. Next step is to get tedding, so we'll sort that out in a minute. I need to. Uh, I do need to top up this thing with a bit of go-go juice because it is uh, almost running on fumes. But uh, yeah, job well done. Really happy with that. Now I know I said this several episodes ago, um, but for those of you who didn't catch that episode, um, just a tip from me. If you are running on this map, because it is a beautiful map, I highly recommend you do. It is at the minute PC only. Um, but trim the fields down by a few feet like this. It makes using course play absolutely faultless. It really does. When I first jumped onto this map to have a look and uh, started this series and did a few things in the background just to set things up, course play was a nightmare because the fields, essentially the border of the fields, come right to about here. And as you can see there, if I walk up to the hedge, it kind of, you go up a hill and that happens all the way around 
inside these hedges. So course play sees that as a, like a an obstacle, uh, and especially if you're running front mounted equipment like this uh, like this mower here because of the way that course play turns around in corners it might come out quite wide and it'll see it'll it'll register that it might even bump into that and just stop working and it was uh, it was getting quite frustrating when I at the very beginning so uh, yeah I did uh, I did mention that a few episodes ago just uh, if you are an avid user of course play like I am just run around the edge of the field with the landscaping tool just paint out the first few feet of the field um, this is what I mean by what course play does in the corners you see in the edges. So I've, we've got we've got an edge now of about what's that? Maybe four feet, maybe. But because it's come round this corner, because of the front mounted mower there, it's come come out wide. But there was no problem; it didn't stop, it didn't bump into anything because we've got the allowance of this border edge. Uh, so yeah, sorry, just a top tip, I suppose I could say for this map in particular. Anyway, right. Anyway, so job done. As I say, let's get back down to the yard very quickly as I say I'm going to top this thing up with a bit of jeep bit of diesel and then we shall be jumping into our lovely little Ford hooking up the tether and get turning that grass over right here we are in my little Ford I was just asking myself if I would even use this thing yet but I have on I did use the, um, the field cultivator a few episodes ago didn't I in the canola field uh, yep I appreciate there's not a huge amount of things it can do down on the farm but it can run the tether might be able to run the baler possibly in fact I just need to check that let me just have a quick look balers oh yeah easy 80 horsepower there we go PTO cables lift up excellent stuff right Back to the field, field 28 I think it is. We'll get this lot turned over for hay. So I'll see you out there in a few moments time. Right, back in the field. Here we are. So I'm uh, going to pop this job into a bit of a montage for you all. Horse play, of course. I'm going to start it with the field centres. We're going to finish off with the headlands. This is a bumpy field, isn't it? Goodness me. Although I seem to remember this one being quite susceptible to the bumps in the... Uh, in all the field up there, the other pack of seven we in the cultivator. I don't know. Anyway, we'll get this job done. I'll see you very soon.
Right, nicely done. There we go. Tedding completed. Quite happy with the coverage, to be fair. It looks pretty good. So, next uh, next job on the list is to get it rowed up, and then we need to get it bailed. And I am uh, quite conscious that we could run out of daylight soonish in the next couple of hours, so I need to pull my finger out and crack on. So, I think I'm going to get the windrowing done off camera, uh, and I'm going to try and montage up the, the bailing when we get around to it and uh, sort of the picking out of them up the picking up of them out afterwards sorry easy for me to say <laughs> right so as I say I'm gonna uh, I'm actually gonna stick with the Ford for this because that can that should be capable of running the rower as well so I'll crack on and I'll pick you up with a few more rows in the field And as before, the job done. Magic stuff. Got some half decent sized rows going on now in the field. So, yeah, it's uh, time to get bailing. Now, what I have, uh, just very quickly, I have slowed time down to half speed just for the purposes of uh, this episode in this afternoon because, this, as you can see, the sun is quite low in the sky there. Obviously, this time of year, October, November time, whatever, the days do start to, do start to get shorter so I'd rather not be filming an episode in complete darkness. That wouldn't make for good content now, would it? Um, but yeah, so just for now, I'll keep the time at half half pace. Uh, we're going to go and uh, crack on, take the rower back to the yard, hitch up the baler. I'm going to pop the baling into a bit of a montage if I can. And I am quite keen to see what kind of a bale count we get out of that field. I think the only field we have bailed up so far in this series is this one, and I can't for the life of me remember what we got bail-wise, but I don't think it was too much, but this field is considerably bigger, I want to say. It's a fair bit bigger, so we should get a decent amount of bales out of it, because we really do need them. We need all the hay we can get right now for those cows and their feed. So, back to the yard, as I say, hitch up the baler and get cracking. Right, there we go. As before again, job done. I bought the uh, New Holland with the bale trailer. And as you can see, the telehandler as well, into the field. Now, ideally, I could do with a bale flipper on my baler, but I don't have one. Not yet, anyway. So, before I start loading things onto the trailer, I'm just going to whiz around and upend each of the bales just to make my life a bit easier when it comes to 
whizzing around and throwing them all on the trailer. We got 33 bales off the field. So it was pretty half decent. I did just go back and have a quick check. And from the previous field that we did uh, over there a few episodes ago, uh, it was 29 bales we got off that. Um, so it wasn't too far off. But again, these are hay, so the they're a smaller capacity, I think. The grass bales are 4,000 litres. These are 3,500. Um, and obviously when I was babbling on a bit earlier on about tonnage and what we're likely to get off the field, that was based on grass. So I was saying we were going to get something like 35 tonnes off the field, but hay is considerably lighter than grass. Um, and for, without being overly accurate, I think it's something around about 30% of the weight, I believe. Uh, so, what we actually got, these bales here are 4,500 litres, like I say, and they have a mass of 235 kilograms. A grass bale from the same baler weighs 620 kilograms. So it's considerably lighter. So when we tot up at 33 bales at 235 kilograms, what we actually got was 7,755, so 7.7 .7 tonnes, essentially. But in literage, as the game tends to equate things to literage of hay, we got 148,500 litres. So, still a pretty decent number for now anyway, but this is going to take me a considerable amount of time, as you can see. Not only have I got to go around, I figured it would be quicker doing it this way and so I can just nip round, because this bale spike, I can, it'll take two bales from the way it works, so I can stack them up one on top of the other little like kind of auto hold two at a time so I figured if I spend the time doing this now just upending each bale it'll make my life a little bit easier when it comes to sticking them on the trailer so I'm going to crack on and get all this done still got time at half speed as you can tell I hope you, I'm sure you can appreciate that just so I'm not uh, coming back to you in a little while's time in complete darkness so yeah I'll uh, pick you all up as soon as physically possible when I've got these out the field and hopefully it's stacked relatively neatly in the shed over there. So, see you soon. And there we go. Big job done. Got those two picked up. Last three on the trailer now. Got them all relatively neatly stacked on the left-hand side of the shed here. But the main thing is, I've now got all the ingredients I need, a decent amount of, for me TMR. Oh, it's not sitting quite right, is it? Yeah, cool. <laughs> we all know and love bale physics in this game, don't we? There we go. Right, excellent. Last one. Yeah. So I can keep adding to the totals, of course. We've got good uh, chunk of silage there we've got the, the 250,000 litres of silage that we've got fermenting away in the bunker is currently at about 9% uh, so we've got a little bit of time ahead of us to wait for that to do but it's all good be done in time and uh, as you can see absolutely working under the uh, work lights of the vehicles now because it is getting pretty dark but what I do think I'd like to do very quickly uh, I have kind of just cramming this in I suppose but uh, the field of grass that we've just harvested and cut and baled and all that uh, I'm going to run the roller very quickly uh, in there let's just disconnect that there we go no nope. first thing let's not waste diesel shall we there we go yeah I'm going to run the roller very quickly in there and get that done because the sooner we can get that rolled the sooner it starts to grow again I think it's the right thing to do this will definitely finish me in complete darkness. <laughs> but at least I've made good time, uh, uh, made good use of the day, sorry. Not wasted any time. Just out of curiosity, in fact, let me just see what kind of manure we've got going on in the bunker here. 2,200 litres, so not really much to write home about. So yeah, I'm going to crack on. I shall uh, get this done off camera. I'll pick you up when the field's growing again. All done. 
rolling complete grass is now growing again now of course we do need to top up with our lime and our nitrogen at some point very soon that may well be on the cars for tomorrow's work but for now job done certainly made use of as much of uh, today's time as i could have done that's a pretty dramatic sky isn't it awesome stuff so yeah finally uh, we've got hold of the much needed hay that we needed for our total mix ration that was primarily the uh, objective for today make sure that we've uh, got a decent backlog and obviously going forwards into the future we will certainly get our hands on a bit more and have a bit of a stockpile going on but for now i think for today's episode ladies and gentlemen i am going to call it here thank you very much for watching i really do hope you've enjoyed it as always if you're new to the channel and you like my content you like the way i'm doing things please consider hitting, hitting the subscribe button and jumping on board joining the channel giving the video a like if you can hit that like button it uh, does do wonders for the channel helps the youtube algorithm do its thing uh, and as always, there are a host of links in the video description below with my Giants Partner promo code. If any of you are in the market for uh, purchasing a DLC, an add-on, a season pass, or even the full game itself, and you like the idea of helping out a content creator at the same time, I would be hugely appreciative. So thanks for your time, everyone. Take care. I'll see you in the next episode. <laughs>